The adventure begins as elven fairy empress Tippy is approaching her castle Candlewick on her pink winged unicorn spout flash. As she nears the gate, she sees that there is a contingent of some sort at the castle door. She loosens the reins and Spout Flash takes off at top speed, running faster than he is able to the side entrance. She hurries to the main hall, where Cosy Nobbins, the steward, explains that they have a visitor from Wickenshire, the kingdom to the north. Timmy takes a seat as Cosy Nobbins lets the messenger in. The messenger slowly saunters towards her, holding a purple box. This is a message from King Corky Bin, explains the messenger. He places the box at Tippy's feet and then careens away, flailing his arms akimbo. Tippy takes the box and slowly opens it. There's a note on top that reads Hail, Empress Tippy of Kingway. The last my kingdom of Wickenshire has been torn asunder by heinous vultures. These vultures are incredibly hard to kill, but there is a legend that speaks of a powerful orb that has the gumption to be them. The legend says that the orb lies to the lands to the south across the river stones in the cage of a chain. I would undertake this quest myself, but I am afraid. I have sent along three items that will help you on this perilous journey. First is an ancient relic, the looted treasure known as the Rhino Message. It is said to be a clue as to the location of the orb. Second, you will need the tiny gloves and the small union paper. Once squeezed, they will emit a sort of howling screen in your head that will always lead you north. Lastly, and please take heed, you will need two coins of shrimp toes and keep them safe as they are only formal payment that shall choose the scrumptious gingerbread fair man accepts. You cannot cross the river without the coins. Chartreuse will cheer you and attempt to harvest you and ultimately digest you. I am out of room. I implore you to undertake this quest. Love, King Kong, and Ben. Tippy gazes at the note, at the corns of shrimp toast and the rhino face. She knows she must go on this quest, but she cannot do it alone. She calls upon her four fastest messengers and sends them to the four directions, calling forth brave adventurers to report to the castle to help. She sits and waits.